Essentially, when you have coronary artery disease of such a severity that there are blockages on your arteries feeding the heart muscle, you will need to bypass these blockages. So we will have to bring new blood supply to the areas that are not receiving enough blood and therefore enough oxygen. And to do this, we will have to use some conduits, which are either arteries or veins taken from other parts of your body, usually leg or an arm, and they will be used to prepare the bypass that will supply the new blood to the uh, downstream area of the vessel. You will see a cardiac surgeon after your cardiologist has explained to you that you might need an operation to resolve the nature of your heart problem. You will then be offered an outpatient appointment and on that occasion you will meet the consultant cardiac surgeon. He will explain to you the nature of your heart problem and the potential operation that he is offering to you. You will also have the opportunity to ask all the questions that you want or raise any concerns. He will then discuss the risks and the potential benefits of this operation and uh, you are encouraged to bring either a family member or a friend to this uh, outpatient appointment. Well, all heart operations carry a risk. Some are risks of minor complications like requiring a blood transfusion or an infection, but others are very significant complications like having a stroke and you might not survive the operation. So you will come to hospital the day before the operation. You will have the opportunity to meet the surgical team and the anaesthetist. And you can again ask questions or raise any concerns. You will then receive medications that will allow you to feel comfortable the morning of surgery. And you will then be taken into the anaesthetic room. In that area you will receive an, uh, an anesthetic medicine and you will uh, not remember the operation and you will, feel not, you will not feel any pain, you will feel comfortable. The operation usually takes around four to five hours, after which you will be transferred back to a special area which is called the intensive care unit where you will expect to spend one or two days. Your family or friends can visit you during this time. And after that, you will be transferred back to the ward where you were admitted before the surgery. You should expect to spend another five days there. So in total, is around one week of hospital admission. It is very important that you understand that sur surgery, a heart operation, is a very stressful moment for patients and for their families. So it's not a time to make major changes in your lifestyle or in your life. You should also uh, consider losing some weight if you are overweight by following a healthy diet which we will be able to help you with. If you are smoking it is important that you stop and we can help you to do that. It is also important that you do regular exercise but not strenuous exercise. Ultimately it's always your choice you will be informed of all the advantages and disadvantages and alternatives to an operation. You will know the risks of surgery and you will have the possibility to think over matters and then decide. If you decide not to have an operation, we will support you. We will discuss with you any alternatives. You will then go back and continue to be followed up by your regular cardiologist. By the time you leave hospital, your GP will receive a full account of your hospital stay and any future plans. You will then receive an appointment with your own cardiologist in two to three months after the operation. You might or might not see a surgeon depending on your own circumstances. Your care will continue with your own cardiologist in the future. You will receive an appointment after surgery, about several weeks after surgery, to attend a rehabilitation class. In that class you will start doing some exercise, but you will also be receiving information about eating a healthy diet, how 
to stop smoking or not resume smoking, and also how to control the level of stress that you might experience. It's important that you follow this advice for your own benefits in the future.